So I'm here at Stockholm World Water Week with William, uh, yeah, William Dugan. So William, tell me who you are and why you're here. Uh, I am the Irvin L. Young Professor of Entrepreneurship and Professor of Management at the University of Wisconsin campus at Whitewater. And I'm here to uh, let people out in internet land know that uh, we have a, uh, an event uh, that may uh, interest them if they have an interest in water uh, or an interest in new business. And it is a water entrepreneurs workshop. It's being held in conjunction with the Milwaukee Water Initiative Water Summit 5 uh, on September, September 18 uh, of this year and it's uh, it's being held uh, in conjunction with the with the uh, the water summit uh, as a means to uh, enable water entrepreneurs to advance their ideas so when you talk about water entrepreneurs what what kind of what kind of people what kind of businesses are you talking about coming out of that uh, we're talking about businesses that uh, apply new technology to the problems uh, associated with uh, with water, uh, the problems that are identified in a lot of the different sessions of uh, of this particular uh, uh, event, the World Water Week. Yeah. So, um, your work. Tell me a little bit about what you your what you normally spend your time doing. Well, my, myself, I'm a I'm a faculty member uh, who has a, uh, a concern about new business startups and applying technology to new business uh, problems, and. Uh, yeah, we invite uh, to this uh, this workshop uh, technologists, executive financiers, all of whom have an interest in in wastewater, in uh, generating new sources of clean water, in making water available to the to the world's populations. So I was talking to somebody at the beginning of, of this week in WaterCube um, about the I'd had a line recently that the, the, in the world there's a there's a surplus of managers and a dearth of leaders. <laughs> And I, I wondered what your view was on what what are the traits needed? What what is leadership in in the water, in the water business, in the well, water sector? Um, I can talk about uh, business schools and sort of the history of the past uh, fifty or seventy five years of business schools. I'll try to be brief. I'm an academic, <laughs> but I'll try to do that. Yeah, you got to admit it. Business schools up until about fifteen twenty years ago socialized. Uh, individuals to work in other large organizations. There was very little concern for the creation of new organizations. And uh, in the past 15 or 20 years, the focus has been on the kind of holistic and creative skills, really what are leadership skills, in conjunction with creation of new enterprises. Yeah. And uh, this is an excellent example of where one can apply one's creative skills in a way that's different than just uh, doing what one's told. Yeah. Uh, to uh, to change the world. Great. So we'll put the URL on the link to this video. But um, so what are the dates again, and where is this? The event? date is September the 18th. The venue is the Fister Hotel in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and it's in conjunction with Water Summit Five. That's a V if you're looking it up on Google. Yeah. Uh, Water Summit Five. Uh, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, part of the Milwaukee Water Initiative. We're, we're also uh, partnering with an organization called Imagine H2O, that's yeah. a San Francisco-based not-for-profit. Well, William, great to meet you. Thank great you. Great to meet you as well.